Hello, Gary Gibbons here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to manipulate vocals or dialogue by assigning the modulation wheel to control granular oscillator parameters and some additional modulation assignments in the modulation matrix. Before I begin, I want to mention that I'm going to use samples that are included with PadShop to make it easier for you to learn all of the techniques that I'm going to share with you in this tutorial. Okay, let's get started. I have a default instance loaded and I'm going to go over here to the select sample icon and click. Now, I'm going to first open up the patch up sample folder and then I'm going to find the 08 voices folder that contains the sample called trip 09. Okay, after clicking the sample, I can see here in the waveform display window that the sample is loaded. Now, I'm going to trigger C3. Oh, okay, it seems that I need to change the position value since the sample fades in. So now, I'm going to move the pointer over to the position parameter here and increase the value to a larger number. Okay, as the value increases, the white line that is on the waveform display window moves to the right to signify where the sample begins. And when the amount is decreased, the white line moves to the left. I'm going to place the start time here and trigger C3 again. This is what it sounds like when we are hearing one single stream of grain and have a duration setting of one. When we use a very short duration value like this, it is called short grains. Now, if I change the duration value to a setting of two, the pitch drops by one octave because the grain duration is now twice as long. And if this value is increased, the pitch of the sound is determined by the pitch of the original sample. Now, if we increase the duration value to 1000, which is the maximum amount, the longer grains play back with the pitch of the original sample. This process is how to create sounds using long grains. Okay, at the moment we are set up to use long grains and I want to loop the whole vocal sample from the beginning to the end. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to move the position start time back to zero and play C3. Swaying back, swaying back and forth. Swaying back and forth. With this setting, it's not playing the whole sample like I wanted it to. The reason that the whole sample is not playing back is the playback speed is still set to a value of zero. So if I change the setting to 100%, the whole sample can be heard. Let's play C3 again. Swaying back. A beautiful thing taking me away. Swaying. Okay, so now we can hear the whole sample, but the grain is fading in and out. If we increase the number of grains from one to two, we should be able to hear the whole sample play from start to finish. Swaying back and forth. A beautiful thing taking me away. Swaying back and forth. Okay, perfect. For this preset that we're creating, my goal is to achieve two different sounds by assigning the mod wheel to change the duration, speed, and spread parameters. Then add some additional commands in the matrix to give movement. So with that said, when the mod wheel is not activated, our sound will be using short grains. Then when we activate the mod wheel, it will change the granular oscillator parameter values and the sound that we're creating will be using long grains. So we have one preset that will change our settings from short to long grain parameters. 
Currently, we are set up for long grain. So now I'm going to right click over top of the duration parameter. Then I'm going to move my pointer over top of the modulation wheel option. I'm going to click Enable Mod Wheel. Now, I'm going to right click again over top of the duration parameter and move my pointer over top of the modulation wheel option. We can see that enable mod wheel is in gray and is not an option to click. The three new options that we have to choose from are disable mod wheel, set minimum, set maximum. I'm going to choose set maximum. That means when the mod wheel is in the up position, or let's say activate it, it is set to its maximum peak. After selecting set maximum, when the mod wheel is activated, the value of 1000 will be stored since we currently have the duration parameter set to a value of 1000. Now, I'm going to change the duration setting to a value of 6. Then repeat the assigning mod wheel process by right clicking over top of the duration parameter again and then select modulation wheel and now set minimum. Okay, so this means when the mod wheel is not activated, the duration value will now be set to 6, creating a sound that uses short grains. So, when I move the mod wheel around like this, we can see that the values for the duration parameter change. So when the mod wheel is down, the minimum value is six. And when the mod wheel is set at its maximum peak, the value changes to a setting of 1000. With the mod wheel in the off position, I'm going to edit the speed parameter in the same way. So with my pointer over top of the speed parameter, I'm going to right click, Go to Mod Wheel, then select Enable Mod Wheel. Then, with a playback setting of 100%, I'm going to right click over top of the speed parameter again and select Set Maximum. Now I'm going to move my pointer back over top of the speed parameter and change the setting from 100% to, let's say, 60%. And then I'm going to repeat the process by right clicking and selecting Set Minimum. Now when I move the modulation wheel, you can see that when the mod wheel is activated, the speed is set to 100%, and over at the duration, it is set to 1000. Then when the mod wheel is turned off, the speed is set to 60%, and the duration value is set to 6. Now let's listen to what it sounds like when the mod wheel is not activated. Swaying back and forth A beautiful thing taking me away Okay, cool, let's play around with the results to hear what can be created with the sample. I'm going to change the duration from 6 to a value of 4. Let's hear what it sounds like with the shorter grains. Swaying back and forth a beautiful thing taking me away. Okay, so I like that. And now I'm going to right click over top of the duration parameter and select set minimum. Now, when the mod wheel is not activated, our setting will now be set to four, not six. Okay, so let's have a listen. Swaying back and forth. Swaying back. All right, I like that. And now it's time to continue manipulating our sound that we're creating. So let's move down to the modulation matrix and under source, let's insert aftertouch. Then under destination, let's insert grain format. And now I'm going to change the depth to a value of 12. Okay, let's have a listen. Swaying back. Sway back and forth. 
Okay, when I play C3 and activate the aftertouch, when the mod wheel is not activated, the format changes the spectrum, creating a raspy helium throat effect. Swing back. And now when I activate the mod wheel and use the aftertouch, the pitch of the sample raises an octave. Swing back and forth. A beautiful little Swing back and forth. Back and forth. A beautiful thing you're taking, you're taking me away. Okay, so two different settings. Let's say that we want to lower the octave when the aftertouch is activated. All we need to do is go to depth and change the setting to minus 12. All right, I'm gonna play again. Swing back and forth. That sounds nice. And next, I'm going to quickly move to the amp envelope and change the amp attack from zero milliseconds to 800 milliseconds. Swaying, sway, 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 swaying back and forth. With the amp envelope set, now I'm going to head on over to the spread parameter and increase the value when the mod wheel is activated. Let's have a listen. Swaying back and forth. A beautiful thing taking me Swaying back and forth. A beautiful thing, thing taking me away. Okay, so we're changing the values Swaying and this forth. parameter is spreading those two grains. A beautiful thing okay, away. and when I change the value to a negative amount, the second grain follows the first. Swaying back and forth. Swaying back and forth. Swaying back, back and forth. And if I increase the number of grains to four, we can hear more grains scan and play different parts of the sample like this. Swaying back and forth. Swaying back and forth. Swaying back and forth. A beautiful thing you taking me away. Okay, let's change back the number of grains to two. Now what I want to do, when the mod wheel is activated, I want to make it where the position spread value is set to 25%. And when it's not activated, I want to have the setting set to 0%. So with that said, I'm going to right click and repeat the assigning mod wheel steps. Enable mod wheel. Go back and set maximum amount to 25%. Then set the minimum amount to zero. Okay, we got it all set up, and now uh, let's listen to what it sounds like. Swaying back and forth. Swaying back and forth. And now the next thing I'm going to show you is located at the pitch section. Fixed pitch. Okay, by activating this parameter when working with longer grain durations, fixed sets a constant pitch for all keys. So when fixed is not turned on and the mod wheel is activated, the higher octaves play faster at a higher pitch. And in the lower octaves, the sample plays at a lower pitch, just like this. Swaying back. Swaying back. Swaying back. Okay, now when we activate the fix sample pitch, the pitch is constant for all keys. Swaying back, swaying back, swaying back, swaying back. Swaying back. Now that the fix sample pitch is activated, I'm going to go to the modulation matrix and under source, I'm going to add key follow. Then at destination, I'm going to add pitch. So I can slightly alter the pitch of the sample on the keyboard. For this step, I'm going to change the depth setting to 10. Okay, let's have a listen. A beautiful thing. To alter the speed when the aftertouch is activated, I'm going to move over to LFO3. 
and drag the drag icon to the grain speed parameter here. Now, in the modulation matrix column 3, the LFO3 and grain speed has been added. Next, I'm going to add aftertouch in the modifier. Then, I'm going to change the depth setting to minus 7 to slow down the grain speed when the aftertouch is activated. OK. Now I'm going to change the waveform from sine to triangle and change the rate to something slower, like 0 0.50 hertz. Now let's have a listen. Swaying back and forth. A beautiful thing taking me away. Next, I'm going to drag the drag icon that is next to the mod wheel to the grain format. I'm going to add aftertouch in the modifier. Since I want to raise the pitch only when the mod wheel and aftertouch is activated, if I change the depth from a setting of 12, which would be an octave, to 14, I'm only raising the pitch by a setting of 2. The reason for this, if we have a look in column 1, the grain format is set to minus 12. So that means it will only raise up by two steps. A beautiful thing, thing taking me away. All right, for the last step in this tutorial, I'm going to move on over to the show FX page. I'm going to turn on the delay and over here at the select preset, I'm going to click and select the preset called fading to the right. Now, I'm going to change the mix value to 12.5. Then I'm going to move my pointer over top of the time left right parameter and I'm going to assign the mod wheel. Just like before, I'm going to right click enable mod wheel. Then right click set minimum and change the values to RX 0. 0.50. Then I'm going to right click for the last time, set maximum. Now when the mod wheel is not activated, the delay fades to the right. And when the mod wheel is activated, the delay fades to the left. Back and forth. A beautiful, a beautiful thing taking me away. away. Awesome. Okay, so to end this tutorial, I'm going to share with you a short demo using only samples and presets from Patch Up 2 and all of the techniques that I just shared with you. Okay, let's get it started. Okay, that's it. Thanks for checking out this tutorial. See you next time. Cheers.